Today we're opening the newest tournament pack, OTS 18. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we have 100 of the newest OTS pack, OTS 18. This is going to be a pretty epic opening because there's a lot of really cool cards in here and ultimate rares. I'll be giving away this Dark Magician of Chaos from Invasion of Chaos. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite card from this set, or let me know what you want to see printed in Ultimate Rare in OTS 19. All right, let's start off with the first pack. Inside the Ultimate Rares are Zeus, Ecclesia, and Fusion Destiny. So we are interested in pulling all three of those, of course, because those are very good cards. We're going to start off with... I think there's some pretty good super rares too. Let's see. Quagar Hercules, first reprint since TP1 as a super rare. So that was good because that card got really expensive and that was the only real access to it. No, TP3 may be a rare. So the only foil access, I should say. That's not one of the craziest supers. I think there's some other better ones as we go through. But obviously we have 100 packs, so we're going to be seeing a lot of this stuff. Dark Magical Circle is a cool one. Ghost Strike Angel. We've got the Contact C. So Max C, I think would have been cooler, but Contact C, I mean, Max C is still banned. So maybe they are not planning to take it off. Or are they? Who knows? Let me know in the comments. Do you think they will bring back Max C in the TCG or not? I'm interested to see what you guys think. This is the cover card for a deck in the Legendary Heroes decks. That's weird. Incantation. Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Not a bad card there. It's pretty decent super rare. All right, nothing too insane yet, but we still have a long way to go. So it's cool to see all these new cards. We're definitely going to pull, I would say, everything in the set in this opening. Manju is back. Very cool. Vampire Familiar and Token Collector is one of the more expensive ones. I think it was like five or six bucks before the reprint. So I don't know what the reprint holds up to that because it's probably a foiled out version. So it might actually. I'm not sure what that's actually used for though. Vampire Retainer. Vampire stuff. Cool. And Zector Peak of Elite, another reprint of this. We just had this in um, Grand Creators. There we go. I had a brain fart there for a second. Yeah, we just had that in Grand Creators. Interesting that we have another super rare reprint. It's the same foil rarity and everything celestial that needed a reprint because the foil versions were kind of you know a couple bucks and since everyone's using it for destroy phoenix enforcer and since we're reprinting fusion destiny in here it makes sense to be in here so Ogdoic token those tokens usually do well with the people that play the deck because they're you know specifically for that deck all right we got another module we've got a token collector again another good one cool thing about ots is there's usually a lot of money cards so that like there's usually some good commons some good supers you know of course the ultimate rares so there's usually a lot of good stuff We've got a, uh, a feather pin, nice. Kagamucha Knight, another good one for like Phantom Knights. I know they're kind of popular at this point. So another good one there. We then have the Nordic Beasts. We've got the Diverge of Nordic Alfar and the Ogdoidic Token. Again, inside, I think I would like to pull Fusion Destiny the most as an ultimate rare. Right now, it's just a super rare is the highest rarity, I believe. So this is definitely making it a little bit more cool, I guess. Monk of the Tinny. All right. What else can we do? What do you guys think about OTS 18? Some of them are real banger to uh, tournament packs. Sometimes they're not. I think this one's pretty good overall. Dasher, that's a good one because Dasher was very expensive as a regular rare because there was an ultimate rare in Power of the Duelist, but then there was regular rare too, and that one cost like 10, 15, 20 bucks at first edition, which is insane. Angel, another sheep, and a baby Sarasaurus. I need this for my dino deck I'm building since I played it a lot on Master Duel. I figured I'd make it in real life so I can upgrade my... I think regular rares or even commons. I think they had both a common and a regular rare. Retainer, we got a Kagamusha Knight. Very nice. Still no ultimate rare so far. Are we going to get another error box or something like that where there's no ultimates? Well, last time it was collector rares, but it's different. Quagar Hercules, another super rare. We still have a lot to go, though. So usually you get five to six ultis out of 100 packs of OTS. That's the ratio. All right, Ghost Archangel. We got an Exactor Peak Felina. I still don't understand why that's in here when they just printed it as a super really weird to me maybe maybe they should put it i don't know no they couldn't put it as ultra in the other one that would have been too good dasher another nice one we'll take that so basically they reprinted dasher celestial and fusion destiny but no destroyer phoenix enforcer so you get the whole engine but you don't get the actual payoff you still got to pay a lot of money for that one celestial is a common oh our first ultimate rare dogmatica ecclesia the virtuous i believe this is the middle of the three ultimate rares i think the least expensive is zeus i guess this is just so popular the dogmatica engine is just really good so this one is in the middle but the fusion destiny is the most expensive i am personally a big fan of the dogmatica engine myself so that's a very cool card even though it already had a starlight it will be a little bit cheaper the starlights are usually a few hundred versus the ultis being like a hundred or something like that so it is more affordable and a lot of people like ulti better than starlight so there's a good option for you phantom knights of breaksword let's see if we can pull 
I guess we want three Fusion Destiny. Like, it's possible because last time we did, uh, was it Utopia we got three of or something? Oh, and there's a Fusion Destiny. Look how off-centered, though. Our cards, our, our ultimate rares are so off-centered. You can check out the, uh, the side is very identical on those. The left side is very thin, though. So it looks like... These are not in gradable condition, but I'm probably going to be putting this in my deck anyway, so no big deal. Very cool. That is the ultimate rare of the set. I think it's around 130 bucks at this point, which is a ton. So was that back to back or like two out of three or something? That is pretty good. Two ultimate rares. They look pretty nice too. They look pretty nice. I'll take that. Let's see if we can do it again. Monk of the Tinny. All right. That's not too crazy. Now we just need the Zeus. So we've pulled the top two. We have not pulled Zeus though. So, I mean, it's a cool card. I would like to pull one of them. Phantom Knights of Breaksword, add it again. We really want, I think Dasher is the number one super, so that's the one you got, you want to pull multiple of, like tons of them. Maju, Ghost Trick, Ogdoidic Token. On to the next one, we have a Diverge, Vampire Retainer. Oh, and a Baby Sarasaurus. I do need at least three of those, though, so that's pretty nice, because that, in the Dino deck, that is literally an insane card. It's so good. It's funny because it's just, you know, a random power of the duel is common, but it's actually really good. Quagar Hercules, another good super rare. Let's see. What else can we pull? Can we get another ultimate rare? We've got Gold Verge. we got the Contact C. I don't know why that's in here. Is that used in something? I'm not really sure. I guess we'll find out, you know, in the comments. You guys can let me know. That's how I learned a lot of things that I don't know. Ghost Trick Angel. We've got the Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Next one. Mini packs to go. Lots of packs to be open today. 100 pack opening. Ink Incantation. The Token Collector is another very good one. I think that one's up there in terms of super rares. I'm sure that Manju is worth a couple, like you know, at least a buck. It usually is. And probably some of these other comments. And Zector Pika Felina, that is probably not worth anything. Seeing as the last super print was already worth like 40 cents or something, that one's probably not worth anything either. Okay. Magical Circle and Token Collector. Even though these OTS supers usually do. Uh, they're more preferred over other super rares for some reason. They seem to be in nice condition. I, they're just very nice. I don't know what the deal with them is. They're just very clean super rares. I don't know how to describe it if you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you do know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right, okay, that's enough with that. And Dasher, okay, another good one. I, don't, I wonder if there's any supers we haven't pulled yet. I'm guessing we've pulled them all at this point, but we have not pulled the ultimate rare Zeus. We got the Phantom Knight, we got the Monk of Tinyi. Very cool. Of course, it's very cool. You guys know all the cards are cool. You know what I'm saying? We got the uh, another Feather guy. We got another Celestial and a Contact C. Where are those ultis at? We are looking for a third Ultra or Ultimate Rare, I should say. There's no Ultras in the set. It's kind of weird how they do, don't do ultis. Token Collector is another good one. Next pack rune. Can we pull the Ghost Trick Break? We can. We just did. We got the Quagar Hercules. We got a lot of insects in this one, okay? We got the Contact C. We got the Quagar. You guys know how it goes. You got the Retainer, Diverge, and Dasher. Another awesome one. Okay, that's adding up for sure. That's definitely helping out. Next pack, we have the Circle, Incantation, the Kagamushinite. Okay, we are a little bit of a dry spot. We went almost back-to-back -back on the first ultis, and now we are not pulling them. Let's see. We've got a Contact C. All right, pretty decent. It seems like the OTS pack, it seems like the quality control is usually a little better in terms of, like, damage. I guess the uh, ultis were off-center, so not in that case. Peak of Lina, but we haven't really had many damage cards, which is nice. Usually, you know, we can expect to have a several dinged cards and all this crazy stuff, but not this time, it seems. Dasher, okay. Centering's not perfect, but, you know, that's not the end of the world. It's better than actually being damaged. All right, Ghost Trick Break, Incantation. Oh, and there he is, the Divine Arsenal, A.A. Zeus. And look at the centering on this guy. It's hard to see because he is all dark. He's black around the edges and black on the border, but it looks like the centering is a lot better on this card. Okay, we've got one of each. We will take that. Let's just get a quick check out of all three of these. That is pretty sick looking. Yeah, that is nice. Something about these ultis just have a really nice look to them. I like new ultis. I know some people are like, oh, no, old ultis are way better. I like new ultis as well. I think they also look good. We've got the baby Sarasaurus again. Very nice. Haven't seen a lot of that guy, actually. We've seen maybe three or four. We've seen a lot more of everyone else, it seems like. Kagamusha Knight. So we can expect two more ultis, I think. Maybe even three. Sometimes you'll get lucky. Retainer. we got a Quagar Hercules. All right, all right. What do we got now? We got the Celestial. We got the Phantom Knights. We got the Baby Sarasaurus. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm, a, I'm a kind of a fan of this set. I think there's some, for the most part, some good stuff. Vampire Familiar, Ogdotic Token. It's not like as good as 
What was the one with like Cyber Dragon and everything? That one was just stacked from top to bottom. Every card was amazing, but this one is up there. I think it's much better than a lot of the other ones we've had, where sometimes you get them and the reprints aren't that good and the ultis no one really cares about. This time, they're all ultis people care about because they're good. And then there's a lot of supers that people care about with a couple of comments sprinkled in. So overall, it seems like it is a pretty decent one for sure. All right, let's go. We got a Manju. We got a Vampire. We got a Break Sword. Okay. Break Sword is everywhere. We've seen him a few times. We have Incantation, Diverge, and Baby Zerosaurus. There he is starting to pop up a little bit more. All right, all right, all right. Vampire Retainer, Monk of the Tenyi. Still many packs to go. Much hope for pulling more ultis. I would love to see multiple Fusion Destiny. Manju, Monk of the Tenyi, very good. Because I would love to play him in my deck. It's only at two now, so you really only need two for a playset. So one more and we got a playset, basically. We got a Dasher. And the Super or Dashers will probably make their way into the deck because those will just look nice. I, the OTS Supers just look nice. The Tan, Agadogadic Token. So more Dashers we pull, the better, because those are like nine, ten bucks, I think. And that's just a lot. Yeah, that's just a lot of money for a Super Rare. So very solid value when you pull that. All right, let's go. We got a Tan, Ghost Trick, Phantom Knights of Breaksword. Let's go. Got the Ghost Trick Break, Phantom Knights, and Quagar Hercules. Very good. Incantation, Celestial, and another Token Collector. Hadn't seen that guy in a while. The Token Collector has been chilling around. Can we pull another one? Because that's a pretty good one. Oh, and there it is. Another Fusion Destiny. The second of the first. Oh, that was confusing. Okay. The best Ultimate Rare twice. So that's a playset there because it's limited to two. So playset already. We still have a lot of packs left and only four ultis so far. So we could potentially pull five. This could be one of those boxes. We'll see. Diverge, Ogdoidic Token. Okay, I don't think you say it like Diverge. Am I, am I wrong about that? I feel like I am wrong about that. Ghost Trick Angel. We got the Kagamusha Knight. All right, maybe I'm saying it wrong. I've Not that I've ever said anything wrong on here before. Vampire Familiar, a Dasher. That would be, that would be ridiculous. There's no way. There is no way I would do that. Okay. Incantation, Insector, Pika Felina. Again, that's just the dud one. You don't want that one. Almost all the other supers are pretty good in some way. Magical Circle. Whoa. And Contact C. I don't know if Contact C is any good or not. You guys will have to let me know that one. Well, I'm sure I'll see when I'm editing it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Since I edited, I think I'm editing this one. Oh, Contact C. I got to calm down a little bit. The Contact C is contacting the card in front of it and not wanting to leave. Okay. That sounded a little bit weird because they Volg. Insector Pika Felina. Okay. All right. All right. All right. We got a long way to go here still. We still got a lot of potential. Can we pull something big? Quagar Hercules. I don't know if that's going to be. Is that going to be worth something? Is there enough people playing that? I don't know. I don't know. It's probably under a dollar, honestly, but maybe not. Token Collector. I don't know. These OTS prices are always a little bit a little bit hard to predict because they aren't, you know, super widespread and stuff. We got the uh, Phantom Knights, Dark Magical Circle, Monk of the Tinny. When was... Was it Monk of the Tinny in something recently? Maybe I've just opened it in, like, another pack and remembered it. Baby Sarasaurus again. Cool. Can we get another Fusion Destiny? I'll take an Ecclesia as well. I don't think we need another Zeus. That's probably what we'll get, though. Because it is limited to one, right? Isn't it? No, maybe that's... That might be Master Duel. It's confusing now that Master Duels has another ban list. Contact C. Okay. This is the time. We're getting down to the nitty-gritty. Will we get something amazing? Ghost Rick, Tan, and Zector Peak. <laughs> wow, that Insector really wants to be in this video. Like, literally every single second, it seems like. Uh, we're pulling at every single pack. Dasher. Okay, we've pulled a lot of Dasher, which is actually really good. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take Dasher. We got a uh, Tan, the Vampire Familiar, the Monk of the Tin. It seems like Dasher, Monk of the Tin Yi. Um, uh, Pika Felina, Dasher, <laughs> Monk of the Tin Yi, Pika Felina. Baby Sarasaurus. Here we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, be careful there. They're sticking together now. Maybe I'm just going a little bit faster, but they're starting to stick together. Let's go. Dark Magical Circle, Incantation, Dasher. Okay. We got a Manju, Vampire Familiar, and a Phantom Knights of Breaksword. All right. Uh, Goldverge, Silent Boots, and Token Collector. We got a uh, diverge again. I'm pretty sure you don't say. Oh, and there he is. As I said, we probably get a second one of these. That's okay because we got two fusion destiny. Another 
Divine Arsenal, AA Zeus Sky Thunder. That's still pretty cool. There is a chance at a sixth ultimate rare. Last time we did this, I think I forgot, and I was like, oh, six is the ratio. And then I was like, why didn't I get a six? And I was like, oh, wait, that almost never happens. That's why. Monk of the Tin. There it is, Monk of the Tin. He added again. It could. It has happened to us before, though, which is probably why I thought that. Manju, Ghost Rick. Oh, come on. Ogdogadic, Tioken. See if we can pull a few more dashers and token collectors. That would be nice. Unless I'm forgetting another super that's good, but I'm pretty sure those are the top two. Kagamucha, I'm guessing, is under a dollar because he's he's got a few prints, and but maybe because it's a super rare, maybe not. Dark Magic Circle and Phantom Knights of Break Sword. Down to the last, I'd say 10 or 12, 15, something like that. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Quake our Hercules. We will find out. Oh, we grabbed the wrong one. Let's see if that one was trying to be open because it's an ultimate rare. Ghost Trick Break, Tan. Baby Sarasaurus, that's probably another good one as well. I don't know how good, probably not as good as those other top two, but still pretty decent. Vampire. Token Collector, we'll take that. That's pretty good. But pretty good. We've got another Manju. We've got an incantation, or incantation, I should say. Very difficult to say that. It just doesn't flow. Okay, we've got the uh, Diverge, the Dark Magical Circle. The Destiny Hero Dasher, very nice. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That's ripping weird, that's ripping weird. Celestial, what's, is that a sign? No, it's Big Felina, he's back. Always after the Dasher, it seems like. It's really weird, I don't know, I don't know. What is going on with that card? We got another familiar, Gavolg, the Contact C. Okay, maybe now we're down to the last 10. These are so small, it's hard to tell like when you're almost done. Because like they're like a third of a pack. Because normally you get nine cards, and this time you only get three. We got a Phantom Knights of Break Sword. So they, they feel like a lot less, but there's actually more in terms of quantity car or packs left. Celestial, oh no! I don't do token. All right. Now we're literally down to the last like 10 or so. Literally, I would say, but I'm still guessing. <laughs> Destiny Hero Dasher. We'll take that. Okay. Manju, I'm struggling. Vampire Familiar. I can't grab these. Baby Sarasaurus. Okay. The struggle is real. Can we finish it out strong with an ultimate rare? Retainer. Ghost Trick Break. And a peak. Oh, boy. That's got to be the most common super rare. Like, I, wanna, I almost want to count them out and see how many we got out of 100. Celestial. Contact C. Okay. All right. These rip really weird, too. The top right corner never rips right. Manju and Monk of the Tin. Manju seems like it's always in the front. That was weird that that one was second. Okay. Changing it up. Vampire Retainer. Incantation. Token Collector. Can we get another dash? We have four more packs. Potential at another ultimate rare. Yeah, that top right never wants to rip. Dark Magical Circle. Kagamucha Knight. Last three packs, guys. Can we get another ulti? Do you believe in the comments? Let me know. Let's go. We got a Ghost Trick Break, Incantation, Destiny Hero Dasher. Very nice. All right. All right, Manju. Very cool. Incantation. And oh, a sixth ultimate rare. Whoa, with the second to last pack. Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous. Okay. So this turned out to be a really epic opening. Two of each. I was not expecting that at all. That is pretty big. Wow, that's a great finish. And the final pack. If you guys want a chance to get some of these, go check out your local tournament store. And usually you have to enter tournaments. Sometimes you can like buy stuff and they'll give them to you. So go check them out if you want to. Ogdoidic token. It's always nice when you support your locals. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stone Flow Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Ananda Tai Show, JT Cho, and Anima the Hollow. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.